In the PISA 2018, an international assessment that measured student performance in various cognitive domains, particularly science literacy, the Philippines ranked 78th globally. Unfortunately, this was among only 79 participating countries. Being scientifically literate means having the competencies that enable one to fully participate in this age of scientific and technological advancements. In the case of Filipino students, their poor performance indicates that they're already getting left behind. This result cannot only be attributed to a student's cognitive abilities, but also to a wide range of factors or features from student and school-level contexts that influence them. Hence, identifying which among these features are the most important can serve as targets of intervention in improving science education and achievement of Filipino students. And this is where my thesis comes in. Hi, I am Dana Galvez from the DNC Research Group. And my thesis is entitled, The Application of Machine Learning Techniques to Identify Factors Influencing the Science Proficiency of Filipino Students in the PISA 2018. On the PISA 2018 Philippine data, where the features were the student and school level factors, and the target variable the science proficiency level, we employed the machine learning techniques of binary classification, where we trained binary classification models to predict whether a Filipino student had low or high science proficiency, and the machine learning interpretation tool Shapley Additive Explanations, or SHAP, that computed the contribution or the importance of each feature to the model's prediction. The feature having the highest contribution or importance entails that it had the highest influence on the science proficiency prediction. With the features ranked according to their importance, they can now be used as a guide for reform policies on which aspects to focus on to improve science education. In fact, they can also be used to optimize our binary classification models, which is what we also did in the study. Among the top features that we identified were lack of a growth mindset, finding reading a waste of time, and grade repetition, to name a few. To learn more about the results of my study, I invite you to watch my thesis defense on June 23 at 1.30pm at the National Institute of Physics. Thanks and see you there!